Dear students, how are you? I hope that you all are well and safe. Today we are going to start a class on transformation sentence. That means affirmative to negative part two. Let's start. We have already learned basic five rules in my first class. Today rule number six. If the sentence, affirmative sentence of is a superlative degree, then the rules will be that means the inspector will be no other plus the part of the sentence after superlative degree plus that plus so or as plus positive form of degree plus as plus subject of the sentence. For example, he is the best boy in the class. What will be the answer? The answer will be according to the structure, no other. Then, according to the structure, after the part of the superlative degree, so now in the sentence the superlative degree is based, so we have to use the part after best. That means, boy in the class. Then, bhar, that means bhar is, is. Then, so on as, as. Then positive form of superlative degree. The positive form of superlative degree based is good. That means you have to use good. Then as then subject of the sentence is. I hope that you have understood. We have already written the according to the structure. If the sentence is superlative degree, when you convert the sentence into the affirmative negative, we have to use according to the structure. Now the another rules. In rule number seven, if we find in the sentence the word always, then when we convert the sentence into affirmative negative, we have to use instead of always, we have to use never. We have to use never and not only never, we have to use the affirmative word, the antonym word of the affirmative word when converted to negative. Suppose if the word is good, we have to use the antonym of the word good, that means bad. For example, Ria is always punctual. The answer will be Ria is never because we have found in the sentences the word always. Then, if we find in the sentences the word always, we have. For example, Ria is always punctual. The answer will be Ria is never instead of always because we have already learned. If we find in the sentences the word always, we have to use instead of always, we have to use never. Then, the antonym word of the affirmative form of the word. That means let the antonym word of punctual is lit. So the answer will be real is not lever lit. Now rule number 8. In general sentence, when we convert the sentence into affirmative to negative, we have to change the word affirmative word in negative. And the sentence must be a negative sentence. 
That means we have to take the word not in the sentences when we convert the sentence into affirmative to okay. Let's see an example. He is a good student. The answer will be he is not because we have already learned we have to convert the sentence into negative sentence and we have to change the word affirmative to negative word. That means we have to change the word good into bad. That means the answer will be he is not a bad student. Actually, you have to remember that the meaning of the sentence should be the same. If we find it, let's see the sentence, he is a good student. The meaning of the sentence is, she has been a good student. The meaning of the sentence is, she has been a good student. The meaning of the sentence is, she has been a good student. The meaning of the sentence is, that means we have to remember that the meaning of the sentence should not be changed. And after the end of the class, I will provide the I will provide you some word that means synonym and antonym of the class. Now Rule number 9. If we find the sentences true dot 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 two, then the structure will be going to convert the sentence into affirmative to negative. Then the structure will be subject plus verb plus so instead of true plus the part of the sentence that means the word adjective or adverb at part two. Then that plus the subject of the first sentence plus can not or could not you have to remember that if we if we find the sentence is present from or present tense we have to use cannot and if the sentence is past tense thus you have to use uh, we have to use could not. Then the other part of the sentence after true. Let's see an example. He is too weak to walk. The answer will be he is so weak that according to the structure, then the subject is so weak that he. Then cannot or could not according to the tense. This is a present form, so we have to use cannot. Then the part after to was. Now rule number ten. If we find the sentences as after the as, then the inspector will be. We have to use not less instead of as in the first as and we have to use that instead of as then that means the last as for example Rohi is as wise as Rohi the answer will be according to the rules Rohi is not according to the rules not less wise than holy. Now rule number 10. If the sentence is a universal truth or if the sentence is referred the meaning as universal then we have to change the sentence affirmative to negative 
there are the like interrogative if the sentence converted into a interrogative will be negative then it will be negative sentence for example healthy way here
I have not mass rice. We have used instead of already we have used mass, not mass. Now the last one for rules rule number 50. If we find in the sentences, several sentences, the word mass, we have to convert or we have to use instead of mass, we have to use not enough little and other part of the sentence will be same when converting the sentence according to negative. Example He has mass He has mass man. The answer will be he has not a little man. We have used instead of mass, we have used not a little. I hope that you have understood and I will show you some word which is used in the affirmative to negative sentence, the word and their antonyms. Dear yeah, students, there are lots of words to transform the sentence according to negative like this. Good, bad, faint, foy, always never, wise, unwise, right, wrong. In this way, there are lots of words when convert the sentence according to negative. We have to change the word. We have to use the antonym of the adjective or adjective. Dear yeah, students, I hope that you have understood all. Instead of that, if you feel any problem or if you don't understand anything, you can put comment in the comment box. I will try my best to answer or to clarify. That's all. Thanks for today. See you again with another one. Thank you all.